In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a really useful feature on the Echo Dot, the Action Button. This small button can do a lot of different things to make using your smart device easier and more fun. I'll go through all the cool stuff you can do with it, so let's get started. The Action Button is an important feature on all Echo Dot models. It lets you do many things like wake up your device, set it up, mute alarms, and handle calls without having to speak. It's made to be easy to use and understand, making your Echo Dot more user-friendly. Echo Dot speakers, Amazon's compact smart devices, have a simple design with buttons on the top for easy access. The number and arrangement of these buttons change with each generation, but once you know where the action button is, you can use it for many different tasks. The first Echo Dot has two buttons on top. Next to the mute button, which has a microphone icon with a slash through it, is the action button. This button is easy to spot because it has a white dot in the center. It's the main button for giving various commands. The second generation Echo Dot has four buttons, including volume controls and a mute button. The action button is at the three o'clock position if you're looking at the speaker with the rear ports facing away from you. It still has the white circle symbol for easy recognition. The third generation Echo Dot keeps the same button layout as the second generation, so if you've used an earlier model, you'll find it easy to use. The action button, with its white circle, is in the same spot as before. This consistency makes it simple to interact with the device's features. The latest Echo Dots have a touch-sensitive interface with buttons integrated into the fabric covering. The design of the action and mute buttons has been updated for a more intuitive experience. The action button is now at the top center, 12 o'clock position, when the speaker is facing you and it has a subtle gray center to help you find it easily. This change in design shows Amazon's commitment to making devices that are easy to use. By knowing where the action button is and how it works on different generations, you can get the most out of your Echo Dot. The action button on the Echo Dot is a versatile tool designed to enhance your interaction with the device across all generations. Let's delve into its functions and how it can make your Echo Dot experience smoother. Tap the action button to wake up your device without using the wake word. It's perfect for noisy environments or when you want to avoid voice commands. For silent operation, ensure the microphone is on, allowing you to wake the Echo Dot with just a button press. Hold the action button for a few seconds to enter setup mode, ideal for connecting to Wi-Fi or changing networks. For a deeper reset without affecting smart home connections, on second to fifth gen models, hold the action button for 20 to 25 seconds until the LED turns off and then flashes orange. For the fourth gen Echo Dot, you can reset while preserving smart home setups by holding the mic off and volume down buttons for 20 seconds. Press the action button to instantly stop alarms or timers, providing a quick solution for a moment of silence. On third, fourth, and fifth gen models, as well as first and second gen Echo Show devices, you can tap the top of the speaker to silence or snooze alarms for nine minutes. This tap gesture requires an active microphone to function. Use the action button to answer or end calls on Echo Dots with call functionality, streamlining your communication. For the fifth gen Echo Dot, a tap gesture is available to hang up calls, offering an alternative to pressing the action button. If your Echo Dot's action button isn't responding, don't worry. Here are some effective steps to help you fix the problem. First, make sure the microphone is enabled. Look at the LED indicator on your Echo Dot. If there's a solid red light, it means the microphone is off. Press the microphone mute button to turn it back on. If the microphone is fine, try a power reset. Unplug your Echo Dot from the power source, wait for about 10 seconds, and then plug it back in. This can refresh the system and get the action button working again. If a quick reset doesn't help, leave it unplugged for a minute or so for a more thorough reset. Check if your Echo Dot's firmware is up to date. Outdated software can cause the action button to be unresponsive. Open the Alexa app, go to your device settings, and look for any available updates. Keeping your Echo Dot updated ensures optimal performance and access to the latest features. If the action button is still not working, try removing your Echo Dot from the Alexa app and then re-adding it. This can sometimes resolve any lingering issues by establishing a fresh connection with your network and Amazon services. As a last resort, if the action button remains unresponsive, you might need to perform a factory reset. For Echo Dots other than the first generation press and hold the mic off and volume down buttons for 20 to 25 seconds. The device will power off and then turn back on, indicating it's in setup mode with an orange LED light. 
For the first generation Echo Dot, use a paper clip to press the reset button at the bottom of the speaker for 8 seconds. Remember, a factory reset will erase all your personalized settings, so use this step only if necessary. By following these steps, you can troubleshoot an unresponsive action button on your Echo Dot and keep your device functioning smoothly. That's it for this video. You now have all the tips and tricks needed to make the most of your Echo Dot's action button. Whether you're setting up your device, silencing alarms, or managing calls, we've covered it all. I'm thrilled to have shared this guide with you and sincerely hope it helps you enjoy a smoother and more enjoyable smart home experience. If you found this video helpful, please feel free to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe for more tech solutions. Got any questions or additional tips? Drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.